welcome to Joe's Crafty Corner and my channel for crafting, collecting and Harry Potter. Today's video is a different video from what I've done before on my channel. Um, it is my Pop in a Box monthly subscription um, unboxing. So Pop in a Box does a subscription box where you can um, pay on a monthly basis for a number of pops. You can do one, I think you can do one, two, three, five, seven, so you can go up sort of the levels of how many you get a month and how much you pay for those a month. So it does give you a little bit of a discount um, on the regular price of a pop um, and it also gives you additional benefits like 10% off um, all orders through Pop in a Box and oh, what else do you get? Um, you get early access to exclusives um, and things like that. So I've been a subscriber for I don't even know how long now. Um, I think it was from memory, this was how I actually got into getting pops um, in the first place. Um, so, I used to have a Game of Thrones subscription when I started my Game of Thrones collection and so I chose a specific one, which you can do, so you can choose for, I think you can do Marvel, you can do Harry Potter, you can do Game of Thrones, there's loads of others that you can do like a specific subscription, so you just get those pops. Um, but I'm on the classic one now because I got through all of the Game of Thrones ones that they had. I've only got a handful left um, that they didn't actually have in stock when I was on the Game of Thrones subscription, so I thought there's no point me carrying on that. I'll move on to the classic subscription, and you then can get any pop across the whole site. Um, so the way it works is you log into your account, you have a pop tracker um, where you select whether you want a pop, don't want a pop, or have a pop. So they will never send you a pop that you've marked as don't want or I already have. Um, there's kind of a neutral pop which is if you've not selected any of those three options, if they're struggling to be able to find a pop from your list that's available to send to you, they will go to the neutral list as a backup, which I think is a terrible way to work it. I think that they shouldn't touch that neutral list at all because for me, the neutral list tends to be pops that I've just not got around to selecting that I do or don't want them yet. So I don't particularly want to be sent one of those um, but it's quite difficult at the moment to trawl through their site you can look at what's newly been released and sort of tick a box to say no I don't want this or whatever but I find that I find pops all over the place with which I've not marked as I have or haven't got so I did provide some feedback to them the other day basically suggesting why don't you have because they do have a specific page which lists all the pops that you want all the pops you don't want and all the pops you've got so I sort of said well why not add a fourth list that is your neutral pop list then all you do on a regular basis go into there mark off the ones into each three of category and then it should be empty your neutral list and that should be it so then only new pops that you need to tick off are in there but I don't know I fed that back we'll see what happens but it would be a really good improvement to to their site um but anyway so i haven't been filming this before because i've obviously not been filming um but i thought i would start to so this is the first month that i've been regularly filming and i've got a box so this came yesterday or the day before i think um so my list um from memory mainly consists of the harry potter yule ball ones which I've so far had none of on this subscription. Um, I had some Dark Crystal, I've got some Frozen 2, I've got some other Disneys on there. Um, so, who knows what we'll get, and let's see if this is the first, oh, I've got some Game of Thrones on there. So let's see if this is the first month that I'll actually get a Harry Potter pop on this subscription. So, I'm not gonna look, I can't open the box. Ah. So, that's a first look at my three. I'm trying to guess from, I can't really, the lighting, I can't really see them. I think one of them is upside down. I think one might be Augra from Dark Crystal and I'm not sure what that third top one is. Ah, it's a Dalek. Oh, there's Doctor Who on there as well. Um, so the first one we have is a Reconnaissance 
Dalek. So this is from the latest, or not the latest series, or the latest Doctor, shall we say, is, this is really bad lighting. We've got the reconnaissance Dalek there. I don't know how well you can see it in there. Let's show you the end. So there's the reconnaissance Dalek. I think that's how you say it. So that's that one. Um, the other thing, other ones available is the 13th Doctor wearing goggles and the Kablam Man. I've already got the Kablam Man um, because I think he arrived a couple of months ago in the subscription. So I've already got him, so I'm only missing the one. Pop that back just for ease. Okay, so then the next one I was right. So this is a dark crystal. Get it the right way around. This is Augra from the Dark Crystal Age of Resistance. Um, so I didn't watch the dark, original Dark Crystal until I was at uni, I think. So sort of over 10 years ago, I watched the first one. So it was released in the 80s and I didn't watch it until sort of 2010 or just before. Um, so I thought it was creepy the first time I watched it, but then I watched it again, watching it before the age of resistance um and i actually really enjoyed the age of resistance so uh yeah so i got the pops i have got some pops from the original one actually i say some i think i've got one <laughs> i think i've got jen is it jen the main character so i've got him um so yeah so that's augra so i think that might complete my collection hmm. i've got deet with baby nurlock i've got hup I think I've got the Hunter and I possibly have Rianne. So yeah, I think that completes my Dark Crystal set, I think. Okay, so the last one is upside down. Is this gonna be the 13th Doctor? It is! They do tend to send them in sets. <laughs> so last time I think I got a box of three Dark Crystal ones and a previous time I got like three Frozen 2s. Um, so yeah, they do tend to try and send them, I think, in sets rather than sending them as random ones. So obviously the Dark Crystal one, they've sent randomly because obviously last time I got the Dark Crystal lot. And so they've just put the last one, tacked it on this one. These are the two Doctor Who ones. So fingers crossed, next month it will be a Harry Potter. Um, but yes, so anyway, that is my third one. So that's the 13th Doctor in goggles. So that completes my set of the 13th Doctor. Uh, not 13th Doctor, yeah, the 13th Doctor um, pops that they have available at the moment. So that is pretty cool. So that completes that set, completes the Dark Crystal set, um, or Age of Resistance Dark Crystal set, should I say. I now can't try this. There we go. Um, yeah, so that is, is a monthly subscription. You pay once a month, it automatically just takes it. Um, it sends you those. So what I'll go and do now is I'll go onto Pop in a Box and I will tick those off as I've got. So then they won't be sent to me again next month. Um, and I think that's all from me. So if you enjoyed this video, do um, like and hit subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.